attachments on Trello, how to use them, how to attach files. Let's jump into it. Welcome back to another Trello tutorial. Today we're going to be discussing how to attach files to a Trello card. It's very simple, it's a very easy to use system. We're gonna show you exactly how to use it. You might ask why we're doing attachments on Trello cards. Well, as you know, we might want to be able to share files with various team members on our Trello board. This will allow them to see the files, to comment on the files, and say it is maybe a design that we're working on. It'll allow you even to collaborate with your client, to get feedback from your client in the comment section. And it just makes this workflow really, really nice and simple. So let's quickly show you how to do it. If I go to my Trello board here, I'm sure you guys are familiar with this board already. Then in our work in progress, we have logo design. So should we jump in here? Say I've just completed logo design, which I'd want to upload. I can go straight to attachment and I'm prompted with a few options. I can upload an attachment from my computer, from Trello, Google Drive, Dropbox, Box, OneDrive, or even attach a link. So today we're going to discuss how to attach a file from your computer, as well as from Google Drive. It kind of covers most of the other systems as well. They all work very similarly. So, how to attach a file from your computer. A few things to keep in mind when attaching files on Trello. With the free version of Trello, you're only able to attach 10 megabytes of file size per file. There is no upload limit to the amount of files you can attach to a card, so there's no storage limit either. The only thing you have to keep in mind is your files have to be smaller than 10 megabytes. If you have the premium version of Trello, you can have files up to 250 megabytes. So this is great because it adds a lot of flexibility to your um, uploads, especially if you're working with video files or something larger. So that is something to keep in mind. But for today, we're using the free version, so we're going to go co to computer. We're simply uploading a normal PNG. So this is just a logo file, say so it's one that I've just completed, and I'm going to go and open it, and it will attach the file here. Very simple. Here you can preview the file, you can have a look at it, you can download it. Makes it sharing this file very easy. Your client might even be able to come here if they're on the board, make some comments, and you would be good to go. Now, the other way of attaching files, and this is a great method if you have files larger than 10 megabytes and you're still using the free version, is to use one of the other services. So, for example, you could use Google Drive. So from Google Drive, we can attach a Google Drive link. Now, what we could do is we could just open Google Drive, attach link, and it would attach the link here, and it would prompt you to go there once you click on it. However, we can add another little nifty trick here on our Trello board by adding a Google Drive power up. So we're going to add the power up now. We're going to search drive and we can add it. So we see here that power up has been loaded in. So now if I go to my logo design card and I add attachment, I go to Google Drive. It will open my Google Drive that I'm logged into. I'm going to search logo and I know my logo files are here, so I'm going to select this logo. And now you can see that you will be able to preview your logo file as well that is actually sitting on Google Drive. So now you'd be able to attach attachments which are larger than 10 megabytes, which are actually being stored on Google Drive, and you can interact with them on Trello. Again, if I click on here, it will take me to my Google Drive location where this file is stored, and you would be able to download it. So as you can see, uploading attachments to your Trello cards is really simple. It allows collaboration and it allows you to work with your team really easily. And it's something that we really enjoy about Trello. For any future Trello tutorials, please subscribe. Stay tuned because we've got way more tutorials coming. We'll see you in the next one. Stay safe and uh, we look forward to making the next tutorial with you.